What is up everyone? Welcome back to the Yarn Dungeon. We have yarn to chat about. Some of this stuff is new to the Hobie site, new for the spring summertime, or it's just like new to me. So I don't often navigate towards spring and summertime yarn just because they're normally under a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for obvious reasons. Lightweight, cottons, linen, hemp, things like that, natural fibers, but they're also very light because you want them to be drapey, flowy. You don't want something super heavy on you during the summertime when it's nice and hot out because for whatever reason, I've been wanting to make a bunch of crochet shorts. I have an entire Pinterest page just for crochet shorts, like ideas I've been stitching together like random pieces of pictures that I've seen that are not crochet that I'm like, that would be fun in crochet form, as well as stitches that I wanna try out. So I figured it was time for me to try some of these out and they also had a bunch of these on sale. Not only that, I had a ton of points for my Hobie point shop and I was able to snag some yarn that you can only get in the point store. I don't know, we'll get to it when we get to it, I guess. Start with this. So this is the Friends Wheel from Hobie. Very, very lightweight. It is, what are you suggesting? A four to 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So that's not that bad. Like, honestly, it's not that far off. I feel like for crocheted shorts, this would be really nice for it. And I could even bump it up to a 5.5. You know what I mean? If I want to do a big, like, granny stitch or a mesh stitch, I think that would look really cool with this. But it feels really nice. 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. Okay, so it is a blend, which I'm going to imagine it's going to be super easy to take care of, too. Throw it in the wash, don't throw it in the dryer. Like it'll just encourage me to make more so that way I can cycle through them. So when one is drying, I have like six or seven on deck too. I've been experimenting with my milk frother too. There is a button to make cold foam on it. So this is my almond latte or almond milk latte with cold foam. So triple espresso, cold foam on top of it. And I have a little bit of hazelnut extract in it too. I never thought I was gonna use that with my milk frother, but now that it's getting warmer, I don't know. I think it's because I have all these cute ice latte glasses too that I'm cycling through them. And I'm like, I should make a cold brew. Yeah. There is a lot of different colors in here. There's 47 different colors. I think I only got black and white. I wanted to do like black and white stripe shorts. So did I get just, yeah, I just got the white then to a couple of these. And it doesn't seem like it's super loosely wound. I mean, it's not incredibly tightly wound. I'm gonna have to test it out to see what it's like, but I have a feeling I'm gonna like this a lot. The drape is gonna be amazing on that. Just by looking at it, you can tell. They have this orange though, now that I'm seeing that. I think I was just tunnel vision looking at black and white. But the orange, I want the red, even some of these blues and greens. I don't know. You have a ton of options here for this stuff. But this is their Friends line, which there's a lot of yarn that I like from this line. I use that for some of my stuffy making too. Friends 8x8 cotton. That's the one I use for like tiny little stuffies that I want them to be kind of stiff and rigid. Those are fantastic. So this one isn't on sale right now, but per usual, they have an entire section you can go to and it's their yarn festival. Then they also have Get a Bargain and Clearance and May Sale. So yeah, they have a ton of things going on. If you've never been to Hobie, you're gonna be like, wow, this is crazy. And if you've been to Hobie, you're like, yeah, this is normal. You just kind of wait until they cycle through everything. Eventually, the thing that you want is going to be on sale. I have this Honey Bunny candy. It's just shipped out to me today and I am so ready to try this out. I love their Honey Bunny. I realize this is not summery yarn at all. Well, I mean, kind of, because like the colors for sure, but that looks like ice cream with sprinkles, you know? And then they have, this is the one I'm most excited about. They have a black with sprinkles. What is it called? It's just called black. And there are the little bits of, it almost looks like graffiti glow in the dark type of yarn or like that carpet in 80s arcade or 90s, maybe that's really what it is. But that's what it looks like to me. I ordered a ton of that and yeah, side note, 
Not what we're here to talk about today, but eventually I'll be trying that out too. So four of each color in order to make some shorts. How much is in each one of these? Mm, 437 yards. So even though it looks pretty small, it's deceiving how much is in here, which I find that to be the thing when it comes to summer yarn, just because everything is so thin and it is so lightweight and airy, you can pack a lot into one cake or skein or hank or whatever they have it. You get a lot for each one that you order. Uh, number two, fine. And per usual, they have the little code here. You can scan that. It'll take you exactly where you need to be going and it'll tell you everything that you need and also don't forget to go down here to find the hashtag so it says machine wash but do not tumble dry lay flat to dry the hashtag is hobie friends wheel okay it does say a combination of the softest cotton in the lightest acrylic yarn and i would agree because sometimes the cotton yarn that i get is not it's not like garment cotton, but this totally is. This was clearly what it is designed for. Let's see, is there any examples? Comes with the easy start pull tab. Okay, I didn't see that. Yes, it does. It's that thing right there. I'm obsessed with this thing. I appreciate it when it's thin, lightweight yarn, because sometimes it can just be a mess when you're trying to pull from the middle. So I appreciate that. Okay, any suggestions of what to make? There are 67 patterns that they're suggesting. I know I said I wanted to make shorts, but maybe I need a matching top. That's adorable. Is this part of their free ones? Oh my gosh, this is a free pattern. So they have two different sections. There's a Hobie Pattern Plus, which you can sign up for, but then they also have a ton of free ones too. And then they tell you exactly what you need in order to make this, like all the supplies. So if you don't already have it, just like click, click, order it, you're good to go. I would need about two for each color. There's also some cardigans in here. I don't really have that many summertime cardigans. Most of them are pretty heavy and I just wear them in the summertime anyways, but that could look really cool with just black and white and like maybe put some big pockets on it. If there's anything that you think this would be perfect for, shout it out at me down below because I'm just getting this out right now and just thinking of ideas. We're getting to the end of May. So if I'm wanting to make any sort of summertime garments, I really need to get started on it. I'm gonna hold on to the top pattern, but for sure I'm gonna do shorts with this. This is the yarn that I got with my points. It's a vegan cashmere. Pure cotton, I'm loving this tag. 3.5 to four millimeter knitting needles. Does it say for a hook? So I'm just gonna mess around with it, I guess, and play and see which one works the best. I was just really intrigued when I saw it on there. I don't know. Yeah, this definitely would be a summer one. I was like, eh, it might be kind of too heavy and too dense just because it does have a little bit of fuzzy to it. But I still think if I used an open type of stitch that this would work really well for maybe like a duster. Oh, okay. I like that idea. How many did I get? I think two of each color. It's probably not enough to make an entire duster, but maybe like a, a vest, like a lightweight vest, a granny square vest. Okay, maybe that direction. So this is another one that you can throw in the wash, but don't throw it in the dryer. It just says color number 18, and this charcoal one is color 20. Super, super light gray, and then a light charcoal. The colors have to stay together. Like, that's gonna be, that's gonna be the way they have to go, you know? Next up, we have Portobello. This is stuff that is new to me, but not to the site. The main reason I wanted to try it is because it's named after a mushroom. I don't really have anything planned with this, and I don't think that it's a summer yarn. Oh, maybe. It's cotton, 60% cotton, 28% acrylic, 12% wool. Mm, I don't know. Is there enough cotton in this to be considered a summertime yarn, or does that wool kind of take over? I mean, it feels very soft. You can't even really feel the wool. Like, it's not scratchy at all. It's a number four medium, and there is 131 yards in here, suggesting a five millimeter crochet hook. This one I obviously love way better. Like this by itself might actually get more of this color because I just got the two to try and see if I liked it. 
putting them together, it's gonna look great too. Let's just feel it compared to the cotton. Okay, just holding these two together, this definitely is gonna be a little bit warm for summer compared to this. It just has a cooling effect. It could still be a lightweight cardigan, but maybe for the end of the night. So when you're sitting around a bonfire and it's a little bit chilly out, just really love the black and white marbling. I think it's timeless. It goes with everything. My wardrobe, there's not a single piece in there that wouldn't look amazing with this if I made a lightweight cardigan from it. Okay, so we'll think about that one. What else did we get? Some candy, as always. I got three pieces this time one from this bag which I also think is the last of the summertime stuff the rest of it was just stuff that I was on sale and I wanted to go ahead and stock up we have this lovely stuff which is essentially paper to knit and crochet with there is 3.5 ounces in here and 147 yards so even though these look really, really tiny, there's so much in here. Like this is gonna go forever. The main thing that I got these for, I wanted to make some bucket hats out of them. I thought that would be super fun. And these type of hats work up really quickly too. It's been a long time since I've used this type of material. Since it is paper, you can't put it in the wash. Don't put it in the dryer, obviously. It just says wipe with a damp cloth for cleaning. That's it, like that's all you can do with it. Normally it's not a thing that people make wearables with, but I have, really are no rules, but a lot of totes, bags, like big beach totes, I've seen really, really cool patterns with this. If I have enough and if I have enough time, maybe I could do a hat with a matching tote and a matching clutch to go inside. So I could do big tote to put all my yarn in and then a clutch to put all my hooks in and then maybe even a little smaller one for my notions. I don't know, like there's a lot. It's it's deceiving how much there actually is in here because you know you look at it and you're like that is tiny no there's a lot of it 18 colors in total there is a really fun slimy green one and then we have the red the black and an orange which i almost got the orange thinking maybe i do a black and orange granny square tote and like make it into a pumpkin or like a granny square pumpkin put those together and make a tote with it. Again, maybe I'll go back. This was just me trying it to see if I want to even continue working with it. What is this, a six millimeter? Okay, that's not too bad. Next two bags are just things that I have as staples in the Yarn Dungeon and they had a sale, but I have to show you this. So the Amigo 100% acrylic, look at that slime green. It's not even picking up on camera. Let me move my light a little bit. There we go. It looks neon and reflective, even when it's not under UV lights. I love this stuff. Nine millimeter crochet hook, so it works up really, really quickly. I didn't have anything in mind with this. I kind of want to make a blanket now, like a summer ween blanket with this. This and, did I get black? Yes, I did get black. Those two together? Okay, I think I might have to. A Tunisian crochet summer ween blanket with the slime green and black. Ooh, so if I go that direction, do I do color work? Like do a design on there for summer ween or just do a really fun stitch where it's alternating colors? I don't wanna go that direction because when I make blankets, I wanna do it at the end of the night and I don't really wanna think too much when it comes to a graph. You have to like sit there, think, check off the line, go, 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 go. I'd rather just do a one stitch repeat, but like, that's just me, I guess. The rest of this bag is just full of the Amigo. We have some red. I've made some cardigans with this. It's really, really cozy. And do you throw it in the dryer? I don't, but can you? Can, okay, wash and dryer. You can totally throw it in there. I have never done that. I've always laid it flat to dry I have like this, and I did a big granny stitch, and that was my cardigan. For last year, I think it was during Hexmas season. Got some more of it, have some white. Last one is a Tweety looking Amigo. Normally I use these to make stockings and since we are coming up to Hexmas in July, which is when I normally do my mass making of stockings and tree skirts and gift giving, anything like that, I had to stock up. Actually a bunch of the Amigo is on sale, but 
this one in particular. It's not on sale, but you can get up to 35% off if you order eight pieces at a time. So that's kind of how I go about it because I know it, I love it. I've used it for many other projects. And also, you know, the slime green. Whenever I find a green like this, I have to stock up on it. I just have this like embedded fear of it being taken away. Like this color, the slime green, I don't know what it is, but we get some really cool ones of slime green or like green with metallic. We get it either for the entire year or just for Halloween season and then it's done. It's done, it's discontinued. This is not, as far as I know, it is not a limited edition color. There's over 60 colors of Amigo and yeah it's like right in the middle here so there we have that one and then you know it goes by a billion different blues we have a ton of different pinks reds and the classic black and charcoal on the bottom so I'm thinking this is like a solid line for Hobie okay so out of all of the things that we saw today, what would you get started on? Like, should I actually start the thing that I got this yarn for? Start some crochet shorts, um, work up the portobello and figure something out. I don't know, like, you know, I'm gonna set this aside because I have no idea the direction that I wanna go with this. So I'm gonna wait until inspiration hits with this one. So that's gonna go aside. We still have the shorts. We could do the vegan cashmere and make either that tank top that I saw in Hobie, cause that was super cute. And it looked like just squares. So like four squares in front, four squares in back, and then add the strap. So it looks like it was one that I could do at the end of the night. A tote and a hat. I have not made a crocheted tote in a very, very long time. Actually, I wonder if this would work with Tunisian crochet because that was gonna be my next thing I was gonna play around with was Tunisian crochet bags. Just for the fact that Tunisian crochet makes a really stiff fabric, it would be perfect for bags. I just haven't got out of my blanket era, so I'm still making so many blankets. And at this moment, I have six 10 millimeter Tunisian crochet hooks. I just bulk ordered them because they don't often come in a set. They normally only go up to an eight millimeter. Some of them go up to 10 and 12, but not all of them. So when I found a 10 millimeter that I liked, I just ordered a bunch of them because I knew I was gonna do this. I knew I was gonna like that for making blankets and I did. They are being used right now because I started a new blanket today, so. It happened. I made my coffee, I was in a good mood and I started another blanket, but this one is six. So normally go up at least one, so either seven or eight. Okay, I have a ton of eight millimeter Tunisian crochet hooks. So I could do that. Make a tote or a hat, or do I get started on my summer ween blanket? Slimy summer ween blanket, these colors. Ah, I'm just, I'm obsessed with this color. I kinda wanna do that. But anyways, help me out to vote. This is all gonna get put away somewhere in the yarn dungeon. I still have to put together two more of these in the room. Maybe I'll do that like tomorrow, set that all up so all of this stuff can sit out. And that way, since it's out, I just didn't want it in the bags because it's in the bag and I don't like see it. Summerween was gonna come and go and all of the stuff that I got for Summerween was gonna be forgotten. So I just needed to get it out. I really want to make another blanket. I really do. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. Asian crochet, for some reason, that and blankets, they just go together so beautifully, and I'm not sick of it. Like, that's the thing. You'd think I'd be tired of it and, like, wanting to move on from making blankets. It's different stitches, and it's always different yarn, too. So I'm mixing it up that way. I don't know. I'm just not tired of it. I guess when you like something, you like something. Like, it's nothing wrong with that, right? So help me out. Pick which one you would like to see worked up or even worked up into sample swatches. If there is some yarn here that you are not familiar with or you've never used and you wanna see it worked up into some grainy squares, I'm not including the Amigo. Like this is just stuff that I have. I've used this on my channel quite a few many times. All of this new summery stuff, the vegan cashmere, the cotton, the paper yarn. Like if there's something you wanna see worked up first, shout that out down below. I'm including the portobello, that's okay. I'll include that one too. I, I got it all together, so I'm gonna include it all. All right, so I am gonna let you ghouls go. Thank you for hanging out with me. Hopefully, 
by tomorrow, I will have a better direction or an actual clear direction of where I'm going with this yarn. Otherwise, that is it from me today. I hope you have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.